Hey everyone, I'm Uth here and welcome to my YouTube channel. In the last video of Selenium Web Driver with Java playlist, I covered handling of select tag drop down using Selenium Web Driver. I covered concepts like selecting single or multiple values based on drop down type, getting all available options from drop down, get selected option from the drop down, and deselecting the value if supported. For all these actions, we used a select class provided by Selenium Web Driver. But we should avoid using select class to handle select dropdown. I have already shown in my previous video that my select dropdown was overlaid by some different element, but still select class selected the value in that dropdown. But the end user was not able to select that. So your automation script will pass, but we missed the bug. So the problem with select class is that it does not select the value in the dropdown as an end user will do. Generally, we need to click on the drop down so all the available options will be shown, and then we need to click on the desired option so that that value will be selected. That should be the ideal process to select any value in the drop down. And also, the second problem with select drop down is that that will work only for the drop downs which has been created using select tag. So, I generally prefer to have custom methods to handle drop down based on how drop down is created. Believe me, there are many ways to create drop downs. And one method may not work for all drop downs, but in whatever way the drop down is created, always try to simulate the action like end user will do in real time. It does not matter what web automation framework tool you are using. So instead of creating any dummy drop down, I am going to handle drop down of real time websites. And for this video, I am going to use Make My Trip website. Let me launch Make My Trip in a new tab, and here we have one option which shows the current country which is USA and if you want to change the country then we need to click on this then we have a drop down to select the country if you click on this drop down then we have some options like India, UAE and US if you want to select India then select it so now selected option we can see as India in the drop down before I handle this drop down in Selenium Web Driver I want to bring one important point here we may find many web elements on a web page where we may need to select one value or more. It sounds like a drop down, but we have many similar web elements like combo box, list box, auto complete, contextual menu etc. We have different names and maybe different way of creating them. So if you inspect this drop down, then you can see this has been created using a div tag, and this parent div has two children. If you expand the first one, you can see this has been used to show selected value in the drop down. And if you expand the second child, then basically you can see we have three P tags. One is for India, second is for UAE, and third is for US. So if you click on this drop down, we can see three options only. And all these three options are coming from these P tags. So you can see normal tags have been used to create a drop down. If you go little up, you can see this div is the indirect child of this li, which is a list. And if you go up, you can find ul as well. So a list box is also similar to drop down. So basically, when you click on this, you see two drop downs: one for select the country and one for language. So I'm going to use Selenium Web Driver with Java to click on this, then select India in this drop down. Let's start. So let me quickly inspect this list box first. So instead of clicking at this span, let's click on this li because the entire this part is clickable. So this li tag has a class attribute which contains local setting selector. But if you see the next li, here also we have the same class value. So here we may use many concept to locate this li uniquely like indexing. But that is not a good approach because tomorrow they might change the order of this elements. So I'm going to use independent dependent concept here. So expand this span. This span tag has an attribute data hyphen cy which says country lang switcher. So this would be unique. So I'm going to locate span first. So data hyphen cy and value is this one. So now you can see it is highlighting only one web element. Now I can do dot dot so that it will go to li. So if tomorrow they change the order of this drop down, it will not impact anything unless they change the attribute or value. So let's copy this locator, go to IntelliJ and here I have already written the basic script to launch Chrome browser. 
load back matrix and 30 seconds of implicitly wait. So my first job is to find the element. So by dot x path, paste the x path and then we need to perform click. So once we click on this, we can see this country drop down. Now time to inspect this drop down. So inspect it and this div is highlighting the whole drop down. So let me use this attribute again. So I can modify here only instead of a span it will be div and the value will be this one. So it is finding only one web element. So let's copy this one and click on it. Why we are clicking? Because when we click on this drop down then only we can see all the available options in the drop down. Now we need to find our desired option here. Let's see the pattern. So all the options are created using a p tag. And if you explain this p tag, it has many children node and somewhere it contains the value of the drop down. Like for the first p, it is India. For the second one, if you expand span, again you can see UAE. So basically, we should not write different locator for each option. We need to find a pattern so that we can select any option. Let's not use this data hyphen cy where we have the country names because the best option is to parameterize your locator with the value whatever is shown on UI like India, UAE or US. So the option text is in the span tag. So first we need to make sure that we are into correct span. So if you see the pattern, this span tag has a class which contains a value country option. Same thing here. So we need to find that option where we have tag as a span and the class attribute should contain country option as a value. So let me copy this class name and here I am going to write slash slash span then contains add class then value. So you can see it is finding total three web elements because we have three options. You can see every option is highlighted. Now I need to create one custom locator. So here we can use logical operator and we can add another condition like text should be India for example here. So you can see it is finding only one web element. If you want to select UAE then it should be UAE here. So now you can see it is highlighting UAE. So this is the actual locator and here we will have a string option locator. So instead of hard coding the value, we can use something placeholder option value something. And then what we need to do? Chrome driver dot find element by dot x path. So option locator and here we can use replace. So what do we want to replace? This placeholder with the desired option. So here I am going to select India. So we need to use double quotes. Once we get the proper locator, we need to simply click. Let's quickly run this program and see whether it is selecting the option or not. So you can see it has selected India in the drop down. So now once value is selected, it's our job to verify that selection is correct. That means we need to get the selected value and assert with the desired option. So I have already shown you that there is one another tip which will hold the selected option value which is here. You can see data test ID is selected value and if you expand this span you can see the value. So basically once drop down is closed we need to get this span and extract the text from here and this text should be equal to our desired option. So let me use this attribute name and value and I will create an next path add give the attribute name and value. You can see here that it is finding total two elements that means it is not a unique locator and if you hit enter you can see second selected value span is highlighting the second drop down. So let's find some way to uniquely identify the first drop down selected option. So basically we have one div for country and if you close it we have another div for language. So we need to get the span 
of selected value which is inside my country drop down tag so i should start from this div so slash slash div at so now you can see it is highlighting only first drop down and within that i will use span where we have this attribute so now you can see it is finding only one element and it is highlighting the desired drop down now we need to use this locator and extract the text so copy this locator go to your code and here we can write chrome driver dot find element by dot xpath give the locator then get text let me store this into a variable maybe selected option and here you can assert it using any assertion library like junit or tsng but here i am simply going to log on the console let me quickly run this program and see whether it is giving me selected option or not so it has selected india and if you go to console here we have india printed here so basically if you see the code here we haven't used any special logic to handle the drop down we are locating the element and performing action like click and retrieving the text using get text method so this is the ideal way of handling any drop down you just need to identify them properly anyway i am going to cover some more drop downs of some different websites just to make you comfortable to approach handling a drop down so that's all in this video if you have any doubt please comment on this video if you really like my videos please like comment subscribe and share with others thank you everyone